yeah. It's incredible how many women come see me and they're so embarrassed by their urinary incontinence. And I want to be like, you know, like everyone has this, right? First question, what is the pelvic floor and why is it so important? The pelvic floor is essentially like a bowl or hammock of muscle and connective tissue that supports all of your pelvic organs, your vagina, your uterus, your bladder, the rectum. What causes problems with the pelvic floor? Specific to women, issues arise with just aging, um, obesity, pregnancy and childbirth, that's a big one, uh, chronic constipation, um, chronic repetitive lifting or cough. So anything where you're kind of going, you know, straining or bearing down, um, anything repetitive like that can cause issues in the pelvic floor. How do you know if you have pelvic floor dysfunction and how is it diagnosed? Pelvic floor dysfunction can present in any number of ways. It can present as pain with urination or bowel movements. It can present as um, incontinence, meaning leaking urine or stool when you don't want to. It can present as constipation or incomplete emptying when you're having a bowel movement and um, it can present as sexual pain. The way you are diagnosed is by seeing a physician who can do a physical exam and really um, thoroughly investigate that pelvic floor. How common is pelvic floor dysfunction? It really depends on the age group. When you're younger, perhaps 15 to 20%, Women over the age of, uh, up in like the 70s and 80s, it can be over 50%. And this is underreported. Anything in regards to women's gynecological health tends to be underreported because of the stigma surrounding it. And so again, these are somewhat conservative numbers, but the take home message is that a lot of women deal with this. What's the prognosis for pelvic floor dysfunction? So the great news is that the prognosis is good. The two mainstays for treatment are biofeedback therapy um, and physical therapy, both done by a physical therapist. Sometimes um, you have to be retrained on how to um, go to the bathroom without causing problems. We learn dysfunctional ways of doing things, especially us women, we're so busy that to just sit down and take our time, often we don't, we rush through it to get to the next thing. The great thing about physical therapy and biofeedback is that there's no negative side effects. This isn't a medication, there's no risks like surgery. I mean, this is something that if you put in the time and the effort and the consistency, you can have really great results. And even if you walk away not 100% cured, you're gonna walk away knowing more about your body, feeling stronger. My hope is that this will be illuminating and normalizing for all the women out there who feel inhibited or nervous or like there's something wrong with them because there's not. This is, this is normal. This has been Off the Cuff with me, Sarah Hellman. We'll see you next time.